Hi everybody, how's it going? We're here coming at you from the gold room of our house, which we recently just put together. This is the room where we'll be doing all of our podcasting in the coming days, and uh, Jessie's going to be doing her crafting videos. It's true. Uh, we're in here because we were outside today at the Ridgewood Reservoir, and we wanted to film there, but it was really windy. So we decided we'd come back home and tell you some facts about the reservoir, give you an intro from here, and then take you on a trip virtually 360 views of the Ridgewood Reservoir. Yep, so we've got some great footage we're gonna show you in a little bit, uh, but Jesse's gonna talk over it and give us a little bit of history of the reservoir like we did last week. It seems that people like that, so um, we thought we'd give that another go. So Jess, you want to tell us about the reservoir? I will, yeah. The Ridgewood Reservoir has been around for a long time, even though it is not currently in use. It was at one point. It was first decided to, to be built in 1851. Brooklyn and Manhattan were separate entities, and Brooklyn thought that businesses weren't coming to their city because they didn't have enough water. Um, whether that was true or not, we don't know. Um, so, but they decided that they needed their own source of water for the city of Brooklyn. So they tried a couple sources. They thought about tapping into Croton Aqueduct, but that wasn't even gonna be big enough for Manhattan, which it was already serving. So there was no way that that was also gonna serve Brooklyn. They tried the Bronx River. The Bronx River was inadequate and it also had difficult access. They also tried natural lakes on Long Island and also some wells in Brooklyn, but all of those proved to be not good enough in either quantity or quality. So they finally made a decision to tap six separate small streams on Long Island in Nassau County and pump them all together in a 12 mile tube to the reservoir in what was then Ridgewood. It's actually not Ridgewood anymore. It was Ridgewood, Brooklyn, and then became Ridgewood, Queens, and now it's Glendale. This was in 1851 that Brooklyn decided that they wanted a reservoir. And then over five years, they figured out how to do it. And civil engineer Samuel McElroy designed both the Brooklyn Waterworks System, which uh, was a building in Freeport, Long Island. And he also designed a three basin version of the Ridgewood Reservoir. Another engineer, James Kirkwood, came in and altered that design to just be a two basin reservoir. And they started building it in 1856 and finished in 1858. Do you want to guess how much water fit into that reservoir? There were so there were two basins when it was first built. I have no idea. It's in know. gallons. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I don't know. Two million gallons. It's in millions of gallons. More than that, like way more than that. I know it's hard. It's eighty it's million hard gallons. Uh, about double. It held one hundred and fifty-four point four million gallons of water. Oh wow. Yeah, and at the time, and that's when it was full. At the time, if it was full, that would be enough water to supply the city of Brooklyn for ten full days. Wow. That lasted at that size from 1858 until 1891 when they started expanding it and then they actually added, ended up adding that third basin after all. And they expanded it by slowly tapping more wells and making more collection reservoirs that were made all the way out to Massapequa. So now the distance that they were traveling was doubled because that's about 30 miles away. And they wanted to keep expanding, but Long Island was like, no, no more of this. And then the farmers in Queens were like, enough of this, our water table is changing because of you guys being so thirsty. Um, so they said, they said no. And then I don't know if this was like to cement their 
tubes in a way, or if it was just a coincidence, but there's actually three roads that were built along the tops of the water conduits. Do you, want, do you have any guesses on what those roads might be? I do, but why don't you tell me? Well, there's one that would be a cheat because we talked about it earlier. Do you know which one that is? That's the one I already forgot. It's Force Tube Avenue. It's yes. my favorite street. Force Tube Avenue. Yeah, it's local. And it's, um, I just think it's such a nice name and I never knew until yesterday that it makes sense. I always wondered like, why is that called Force Tube? And then now it makes sense because it was a tube that water was forced through to go to the reservoir. And then there's another one that I think you might get when I say it. Do you want to guess or? North Conduit Avenue? You got it. There well, you just go. Conduit out, Conduit Boulevard. But oh, like okay. now, I think maybe the names have changed. Um, yeah. Hey. And then the other one doesn't have a name like that has to do with this at all, but it's Sunrise Highway. Oh, okay. So those were all along the, the same direction of the water conduits. So that's a lot of information about how it was built and how it expanded. And then in 1898, so this all happened in 1891, right? This big expansion. Then just seven years later, in 1898, Brooklyn merged with the city. So then Brooklyn all of a sudden could have access to the, the Manhattan water as well from the Croton Aqueduct. And it was also around the time that they were expanding to the Catskills to get water. So once they merged with the city, the Ridgewood Reservoir sort of didn't make so much sense anymore because it was really expensive to maintain. So they, they had done all this expansion and then like seven years later just started using Catskill water. They did, they did still use the reservoir, but it was just like mixed in with the other water supplies. So they didn't have to use it as much. And then in 1959, it stopped being used as a main water source at all, and it was just used as a backup. Shortly after, in the 1960s, there was a big drought, and it actually had to be used again, but that was the last time that it was ever used. So then it was just like this, this thing of water, this reservoir just sitting there, and people in the 70s were swimming in there, and then like drowning in there, and it was like no good, and then, it wasn't until 1989, though, that they officially decommissioned the reservoir and drained it. Shortly after they drained it, the reservoir just naturally became a birch forest and a nature sanctuary. And now there's over 150 species of birds in there. And part of the reason they're attracted to it is because it's right along the flyway, which is like the bird highway that they travel on when they're migrating. So then in 2004, the Ridgewood Reservoir, which has at this point been decommissioned, became part of Highland Park. And then since then, it's been taken care of by the Parks Department in New York. Cool. Yeah, uh, it was really nice walking around there. There were a lot of people uh, around there. I don't know, I feel like there would probably be less people normally. Yeah. Uh, but people were trying to get out to like, you know, do some sort of nature-y thing, so. Yeah, it wasn't like crowded, but no. it was definitely more people than I would expect Yeah. on a given Thursday Yeah. at like 3 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that's this week's uh, edition of New York 360. Uh, I hope you enjoyed some of the footage that you saw. Uh, we're gonna keep at it. We're liking doing this and we have some more fairly local locales that we're going to visit in the coming weeks. Um, but if you enjoyed this, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, check in. We're going to be trying to do this every Friday on the regular as much as we can. So um, be sure to look out for that. we are also got Jesse's live streams on Tuesday and uh, called Craftwork. If you haven't seen that, uh, last week's video is up. 
uh, and or this week's rather on Tuesday. Jesse did some weaving, mm -hmm. and uh, we also do work craft, which is a video that we pre-record that goes along with craft work. And uh, we're going to be cooking up all sorts of other stuff too. But those are the three big things right now. So um, yeah, thanks so much for turning in. Yeah, tune in again. Yeah, have a great day. Bye. Bye. What do you think like that these kids say? 70 20, 20 I think? I think it's going to be way harder. Yeah. Oh! I got a YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought he said he.